Hey, Bastish Pia for 64K and welcome to another episode of How To. Welcome to 64K, hosted by Bastish B. And welcome back. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to apply a poke or a cheat to a game on the C64 Maxi. So let's just stop here for a second and let me just explain what pokes are exactly if you're unfamiliar with the term. It's basically a way in its simplest form is to hack into a game and change certain criteria or code to your advantage. An example would be if you have three lives in a game you can change it to have infinite lives. So basically it's cheating. <laughs> So all the old Commodore 64 magazines from the UK, from the 80s and 90s, and even a new fanzine, which I'll show you later, they would always have a section dedicated to pokes, and uh, you could go there, check it out, and uh, use those to help you out. Okay, so how does this all relate to the C64 Maxi, and how do I get it to work? Well, the first thing is we have to go and download the latest firmware update for the Maxi, the 1.4.2. Without that, this won't work. So if you have already downloaded that, awesome, you're good to go. For everybody else, here's a quick little description on how to download it. We'll first go to the Retro Games website back there and I'll show you where to get it. And here we are, the Retro Games website. Let's go to upgrade the C64. This is all gonna be in the description, so you don't have to worry about the links. I'll leave links for everything. Here it is, the upgrade page. You wanna download 1.4.2, it'll be at the top of the list. And this is all the uh, upgrades and additions. You can check them out later if you want. Lots of other good stuff. Now download this, extract it, and put it on your memory card. Put it in the Maxi, turn it on. Go to settings down here. And system information and upgrade it. It'll take a few minutes, then it'll reset. Now that the C64 Maxi is updated, we need to go find a program which can replicate an old freeze cartridge and download it and put it on the Maxi so we can get going with this. So how that worked on an original Commodore 64 like this, at the back you had a cartridge slot and you would put the freeze cartridge in like that. This isn't a freeze cartridge, this is just the Epix FOS loader, but it was a cartridge just like this. You would start playing your game and there would be a button over here and you'll press it. It would freeze the game and allow you to jump in and insert your pokes and cheats and then you press the freeze button again and it will jump back out to the game and it would be applied to your game so you're good to go and you can cheat away. So that's how it worked on an original Commodore 64. So we have to go online and find a program which is gonna replicate that, you know, virtually into the Maxi and then we can get on with the rest of the process. Okay, so here's the site, it's an action replay resource site. Now don't worry about remembering any of this information, I'm going to have everything in the video description so you can check it out after the video at the end and go take you straight to everything to download stuff. So it'll make it very easy. There were a lot of different like freeze cartridges out there, made by different companies obviously, so the one that I personally used was called an action replay and that's the one we're going to download because I know how to use it and it's pretty simple. So let's go check that out. Okay, here we are. This is the action replay site. So this gives you some background information about the cartridge. You can read about it and learn more about its functions and what it used to do. And let's go down to the bottom here. This is where you download it. This is a pack which pretty much puts every single version of an action replay all in one download. As you can see, all the different versions that came out. For me, I just used the latest version, the last one, uh, the 1989 PAL version. That's just my region that I'm using. There's also ones that are NTSC compatible as well. So just check out whatever you need. So download that, extract it, and put those files onto your memory card, and then you're good to go. Okay, so after you put the action replay program onto your memory card, put it into your Maxi, then we'll be good to go. So we're going to use a poke today, I've chosen a new game called Isle of the Cursed Prophet. It's very cool, you should check it out. So at the beginning of the game, as you can see here, you got you start with this little rubbish dagger, you go into this first house and you get that, it's complete garbage, obviously it's the worst weapon, but we're going to give ourselves, we're going to use a poke and give ourselves an awesome sword straight off the bat. So I've chosen a poke from the appropriately titled Freeze 64 fanzine. This has got a poke in here which gives you, you know, an awesome sword straight at the start of the game. 
This is an excellent uh, fanzine, Commodore 64. It has a poke section. Also, it's basically a modern day Zap 64 reviews and all that stuff. But yeah, it has a poke section. If you want to find out more about Free 64, check out my video I recently done on it. It's quite excellent. So let's start applying that poke to the game. And an important note, you have to be in classic mode for all this to work. So just make sure you activate that. Now I'm going to go to the action replay folder I made. I'm going to the last one there. That's the one I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Over here you press F3 to get a normal reset. Okay, so now we're going to go and find our game. I'm going to jump back here. Find your game wherever it is. Like I said, we're going to do Isle of the Cursed Prophet. Here it is. So bear in mind, uh, you can't use a PRG because that will take place of the cartridge slot. So you have to use either disc or tape version. For the sake of speed, we're going to use the disc version. And load that. Comes back here, press F3 again. Now it's loading it with the cartridge, kind of installed. We'll skip the whole intro and everything, get straight to the game. And now we're at the point where we're going to freeze the game. So how you do that with the new update. You hold shift, right shift on the maxi and you press the power button like that. See it froze the game and it's jumped into the action replay menu. So now you want to apply the poke. You press E to apply the poke like there. It says pokes. And now you type it in. So I've got the pokes right here. I'm going to apply that. Okay, so after I've written that, I press return, and then you press return again. Okay, so that applied the poke now. Now we're going to press F3, it says restart, that takes you back into the game. And as you can see, look at that. That is a massive, that is a powerful sword. It destroys anything in this game. It's super cool. So if you look down in the bottom right hand part of the screen, you can see the big white sword. It's obviously it's massive. You can see the length of it. It just destroys things. It's so much better than that little dagger that you first originally get. So the next inevitable question you may be asking is what happens if I don't have some of these old magazines or the fanzine with a list of pokes which I can apply? Can you make up your own? Yes, you can. The action replay cartridge or the fake version of it here can do that. You can actually find out and hack the game and make your own pokes or discover your own pokes. So let me show you how to do that. So we're back on the action replay cartridge menu. We're going to set this to normal reset and we're going to load a game, a newer game also. It's called Flying Sources. It's kind of like a version of Defenders, a modern version of it. I'm going to skip that. So this is a cracked version that already has trainers and cheats. A lot of these games, which you find out there, will already have this, but a lot of them won't. Anyway, for this example, we're going to just say no and no to those cheats, and we're going to apply our own. And here's the game. We're going to start it now, and we're going to freeze it immediately. Just make sure you look to the top right to see how many lives you have, which are three. So get ready with shift and the power button like so so like i just said as you notice in the corner of the game you start off with three lives that's important you got to remember that so now we're going to try our own poke which is you press x and to go to poke finder so now it asked you how many lives do you have now so obviously we have three return now the program is looking through possible pokes, possible pieces of code where it thinks the lives are located. It's trying to like determine. So now it actually tells you, you've got to lose a life in the game and then refreeze it. So it can narrow this list down. So let's go back, press F3, crash. Now you can see I've got two lives. We're going to freeze it again. Press X to do poke finder. As you can see, it's found it. And it says installed. It's now giving you infinite lives. So let's jump back in the game and see if that worked. Okay, two lives there. We just died again. 
Oh look, we're starting again and we've got two lives again. Let's wait for him to crash again. Crash. Two lives. Let's see. Restart. We still got two lives. You've just made your first poke and you now have infinite lives and flying saucers. Okay, so that's it. This is just, bear in mind, one feature out of all the new updates that were just applied. Uh, I was going to do a whole video on all the new features, but there's really not a lot of other things really to talk about. Everything else is self-explanatory, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff, there's a whole bunch of good games, new ones that I added as well, which are great. I've covered a bunch of them on my channel already, do check them out. That's all self-explanatory. The freeze option or function is definitely something that needed a lot more explaining especially if you've never done it before or you're new to the c64 maxi scene so that's how it works uh, i hope it was useful to you and thanks for joining me bastish b at 64k i hope you had a good time if you can like and subscribe that'll be greatly appreciated and i'll see you next time cheers